Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about redefining you. That's right. And why it's important to have a clear idea of the identity you need to create and cultivate in order to create new outcomes in your life. It's really that simple. Because if you're not clear about uh, the identity, then you're just going to create random results. And and so we're going to get to that in this episode. I, I was inspired to talk about this today for a few reasons. Number one is uh, from an Instagram reel. Uh, I have a dear, dear friend of mine in Canada by the name of Mr. Don Samana. What's up, Don? I know you're listening out there. Um, Don sends me reels on a regular. And one recent reel that, I, that he sent me um, uh, really got got the juices flowing, and I'm going to paraphrase it here. It's something to the extent of the thing that uh, that you're seeking is also seeking you, right? Very law of attraction, that, and I'm really really into that kind of stuff, right? I mean, it's universal law, right? Uh, the thing that you're trying to attract in your life is also trying to attract you, or, or the person that you're trying to attract in your life is also trying to attract you into their life. You know, I mean, that kind of thing. There's a mantra. Um, what is desired by me is destined for me. So again, I, I really love that. And, and it rests on the clarity, right? Clarity of the idea that you're trying to attract and therefore clarity on the identity that you need to cultivate in order to attract those things. And I realized, I realized in reflection that I haven't been clear with that, right? I haven't been clear with that. And it was, it was, yeah, it was pretty much told to me directly. <laughs> and the second, so the second thing that inspired me um, to talk about this today is, is the ongoing conversations I've been having recently with a dear, another dear friend of mine, Mr. John Dunka. Now, John is an incredible businessman and we've been talking about, you know, our marketing strategies. We've really just been masterminding and, 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 and looking at the different avenues of especially leveraging online marketing and social media and, and content creation. And, and he just flat out asked me, Ronnie, who are you in, in all of this? <laughs> and I didn't have an answer. <laughs> I didn't have an answer. For once in my life, I didn't have a clear, distinct answer. He's like, well, you, you, who are you? What identity um, uh, you, are you trying to cultivate on your uh, on your social media in this space? Because that's going to determine your outcomes. And, you know, if you see, if you if you follow me on social, you'll, you'll actually see it is, it is pretty random, right? It is pretty random. Uh, as I've kind of eased my way back, well, okay, so let me backtrack. And, and, and yeah, yeah, I'll backtrack to the beginning of the year because, um, you know, in reflection, as a result of John pointing that out to me, I realized that, yeah, I have been actually recently creating pretty random results in my life. And it's because uh, I haven't been, been clear about the identity that I'm trying to cultivate. Now, backtracking to the beginning of the year, I was, I was very, very clear. Um, and actually, you know, in, in the, the last 24 month journey, um, since I started doing the online stuff and, and studying, you know, content creation and the influencer space and, and social media marketing, um, I, I was really on a trajectory to, uh, I, I was on a very clear trajectory and a clear path. I knew what I want, the outcomes I wanted to create. Uh, therefore, I knew the identities that I, that I was cultivating. And, and all of that was, was really displayed in, in my actions and it was really displayed in my content creation creation at the beginning of this year um, you know I started actually teaching courses right and I and and you know it, it got to the point where in May right it started kind of escalating and escalating it was really on a good track um, accelerating towards that outcome uh, in May I taught my first uh, my first paid course on exactly that topic right social media influencer growing growing your online presence um, and then in the context of network marketing where you know to the point where by the end of this year I had I had the I had my sights set on having finished a book and and released more courses now all of that was derailed. <laughs> All of that was derailed. And I've talked about this in, in recent episodes. After my dad passed, I stepped away from it all and, and I kind of hung up everything uh, because I needed to take that break, right? I needed to take a break from, from everything just to get myself together again. And so, you know, in the last month or two, as I've, as I've start, started to kind of step back into the space, step back into the sphere, um, 
I haven't been clear about it, right? I haven't been clear about it. And again, you can see it in my content. Um, it, it's, it's been, it hasn't been really, really directed. It hasn't been really clear. And therefore, again, it's been creating relative amount of randomness, <laughs> um, a, a relatively good amount of ra- randomness that, that, uh, that uh, hasn't really happened in, in, in my life in a long time. Right. Again, in the past, I've been very, very intentional and purposeful with creating um, outcomes and results in my life. And, and just the last couple of months, as I've stepped back into the online space and, and started creating content again, it, yeah, there's been a lot of randomness because I haven't been clear. I haven't been clear about the, the identity I'm trying to portray and cultivate. And so, you know, I, part of this episode uh, moving forward is I want to be clear with that. Right. And I'm going to communicate that to you guys, um, as well as really for myself being clear about it so that I can then create the outcome comes that I want to create and be intentional and purposeful with that. So the first thing is, the first part part of the identity that I'm cultivating is that I'm an influencer, right? There's no getting around it. This is the social sphere. This is content creation. And I do want to, want to continue to grow my influence. So I am an influencer, but I also want to be a teacher of that because I, I understand and really, really still firmly believe in the value of creating a, a presence online and building an influence online because no matter where, where you are in your life and wh- whatever your career is, whether you're a network marketer or not, whether you're a business owner or not, having an influencer and not influencer, excuse me, having an influence and having a presence online, having a following, just there's so many advantages to it that you can actually turn that into economic gains if you need to down the road, right? So that's first and foremost, being an influencer and creating that, that presence online for myself, as well as teaching other people to do it and encouraging other people to do it because it does set, set you up for, um, uh, for potential uh, advantages down the road. Now, in the context, of course, of network marketing, I am very much still a network marketer. I love the network marketing profession, but obviously it needs some, um, it needs some updating. And, and that's going to be the other part of that influencer space for me is that I want to be an influencer um, I want to be a network marketer um, uh, so that, uh, yeah, well, I want, to sh- I want to show people you can build a business using content creation, using the social spheres um, uh, without having to kind of like, you know, write your, I mean, you can still do this. And I'm not saying this is, this is dead. It's still a good practice. Um, but, you, you know, like the whole make a list of your friends and family thing, right? Right. Again, it's, it's, it's still works. Um, but it can be accelerated and updated in this conversation because obviously we have these tools. We have these tools in these social spheres that we can really um, exponentially multiply our our results if we if we learn how to leverage the uh, the social media platforms, right? So as network marketers, um, I, I want to show you that I'm doing this, and and if you if you follow me on the socials, you'll see that I have been showcasing uh, my company's products a lot more than I than I did in the past, right? Um, in the past, I was only really just talking about the coaching and and the influencer space and the social media space and and the content creation but now I'm I'm integrating showcasing my company's products because again I want to be the example um, uh, that you can uh, well yeah you can generate sales you can ge- generate uh, customer acquisition through social media right and then and then of course the extension of that is teaching other network marketers how to do it so that we can we can redefine network marketing right uh, again I was already kind of on this trajectory to help redefine network marketing to update that space because it's sorely lacking it's sorely lacking not to say that the the fundamentals have changed necessarily but i, I want to open up and broaden broaden the narrative and broaden the conversation to be more accessible to people who don't want to recruit in order to make money i think that's been one of the, the biggest sticking points in network marketing and that's a whole separate training but one of the biggest sticking points is the fact that we primarily sell the business as a recruitment, if you recruit five and or or you know the 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 old uh, the old you know the old the old way of doing things, right? Like how I was introduced to network marketing: recruit five to recruit five, help them recruit five, et cetera, et cetera, and that's how you get financial freedom. Nobody, well, very few people want to have that conversation, and, and very few people are even attracted to that that kind of business model. But if we talk about um, the ability to sell products. And, and generate customers through social media, something that majority of people are already doing, then, then that makes more sense from, from a network marketing standpoint, right? That makes more sense in, in terms of the conversation that the marketplace is having. And, and so that, that, that kind of brings network marketing up to date as opposed to still 
doing things like the met methodology that that I see a lot of network marketing is still talking about is you know from 20 years ago, right? It's, it's so it's time to start updating that. And, and so again, the, this identity as a network marketer, I very much still embrace and I'm cultivating, but a network marketer uh, uh, that is uh, an influencer online and, and one that can generate sales and can generate customer acquisition um, through, through, the, through the social media space and then teaching other network marketers that, right? So there's, there's always, for me, the identity of, of a coach. It's just something I've, I really enjoy and that I really settle into and, and that, that I fit, like I settled into very quickly um, uh, when, I, when I started really gaining success and traction in my network marketing business. So that's, that's always part of it. And then, of course, the personal development side, right? Like I, I, that's something that I very, very, uh, yeah, I'm very passionate about because it's, I've seen the difference it's made in my life. I've seen the difference it's made in the people's lives that I've coached directly or indirectly. The people that have, you know, um, you know, seen my content and heard my content over the years, um, whether it's from, you know, a live stage or content creation and publishing. Um, I've seen the impact that personal development makes, right? And of course, all of the marketing and all of the business and all the influencer stuff, I mean, you can't like it's it's really really difficult to get through all of that especially entrepreneurism right if you're a business owner you've got to you got to really work on personal development so all of that is kind of fueled and driven and and built on personal development without personal development in in, in the equation um then you're never going to be able to 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 cultivate any of those identities um that will generate business for you right right so so that's that's really the other aspect the other identity that that I want to portray out there in the space and I I know it seems like a lot, um, but I mean, we're not all one thing, right? We're not all one thing. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I've been in this game of network marketing for almost 20 years. I, I've, I've, I've been a coach and a mentor for, for almost as much of that time. Um, and, you know, with, with the uh, content creation, and, uh, you know, growing an influence, um, I'm really passionate about that as well. So, you know, it's it, one thing I want you to really understand when you're thinking and, and, and well, thinking about what identities you want to cultivate. Um, number one, it's, it's not like black or white, right? It's, it's not either or. So it's not a binary conversation. Just because you're one thing doesn't mean you can't be another thing, right? So that's, that's the first thing that I want you to, to understand. And also, the second thing is realize that it's not set in stone. It's something that's always going to be ever evolving. And so doing this practice of, of really being clear about your identity is something that you should revisit very regularly. I, I, in, in past episodes, I've talked about, you know, revisiting your vision um, on the regular so that you can revise it to, to, to uh, you, well, yeah, so that you can update it so that, so that, you know, it's current towards your circumstances, you know, and, and on your journey, right? Like wherever you are in your journey, well, update, update the destination, right? Right, because you're, you know, you've either achieved the thing already, or you're getting close. So it's time to update to push yourself further, right? Alongside of that is you need to update your identity, right? You need to revisit your identity and 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 the identity and identities that you're trying to cult cultivate to expand it into to a, a, a narrative that encapsulates the outcomes that you're trying to create, right? Right. So don't you don't necessarily just be married to one thing. Um, there's no wrong or right about it, right? It's whatever you want to be. Um, yeah, yeah. You be flexible enough to know that it's going to change 12 months from now, probably, right? And, and so, yeah, we'll probably have this conversation again in the future. Uh, but understand that this is where it is right now for me. And I, I really, I encourage you, um, uh, hopefully this, this episode inspires you to, uh, to sit down and be clear about the outcomes that you want to create and the identities that you need to cultivate in order to create those outcomes. Again, for me, influencer, um, content creator, uh, a marketer and, and, and a teacher of online marketing. And then in the context of network marketing, of course, teaching network marketers to, to, to do all that and, and leverage the online space so that they, they have advantages in the future and in generating sales and, and, and customer acquisition using social media and creating courses around that while also building my own business and generating sales for not only my courses, but for my network marketing business, right? Uh, you know, being, being that 
real brand ambassador and not being shy. Not that I was ever shy, but, you know, not being afraid to integrate that into my content creation. And then, of course, helping you get over whatever hurdles and and uh, and and mindset blocks that, that you might have um, through, well, sharing my, my experiences with you as well, right? Like the personal development and growth side. Um, so that's what to expect from me. And, and again, hopefully this episode inspires you to kind of rethink and, and revisit your own um, goals and therefore the identities that you need to cultivate. And, and, you know, if you need help, reach out, reach out. Um, you know, that, that's part of, again, one of the beautiful things about our community on Facebook, which if you're not part of yet, join it. Uh, it's facebook.com slash group slash redefine community. Um, you will not only see these live recordings, which sometimes are disastrous, but they, they come out okay, right? <laughs> I mean, you're listening to this podcast, so it must have it must have come out okay. But also, it's a space where you can get support on your journey, especially if you're experiencing challenges and adversities and, and get other people's perspectives, right? Uh, the community is really there to to elevate you, to help raise you up and to help you realize that you are capable of becoming whoever you want to become in order to create the life that you want to create, all right? So that's it. That's it. Redefine you. Revisit your identity and who you want to be, the identity that you want to cultivate um, regularly, at least once a year, so that you can continue to create new and, and better and, and and more fun results in your life. All right, so that's it. Tune in next episode, I think Thursday, yeah. So this episode is going to be released on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, lost track there. Um, yeah, tune in uh, till till next time. The, the next episode is going to be coming out on Thursday. So until then, be well, be safe, and go towards goodness. <laughs>